Right, let's welcome back YouTube for what will be CLGFC episode 126. For those on Twitch, we, we didn't stop. We're rolling right along into our final game of the night, Shevington, which is going to set up potentially a... Uh, it's it's going to be potentially a title decider. Uh, next stream that's that's how big this is it's a potential title decider next stream against Fleetwood Hesketh we we have the relegation strugglers right after that with Litham Town and Stockport Georgians reserves then we have the mid -table, table champions in Norcross but yeah um, brutal absolutely brutal um, what a great song by the way um, <clears throat> listen, uh, chat, the ads are going to start in 39 minutes, which means right now they're scheduled to run in the middle of the next game. Uh, so what I'm going to do is at the end of the song, I will, uh, I'll run the ads and then we should be clear for the rest of the stream. So just a heads up at what's coming your way in a few minutes uh until then what do we got just post-match analysis it's fine nothing big there six days to go but one match left in the stream tonight we'll be into december almost that i mean this is we're halfway through the season remember after christmas the schedule opens up quite a bit we go from games every week or every other week to some to three weeks apart. So uh, second half of the season's really whoosh, spaced out. Um, but but ah, that's frustrating. That is a frustrating way. To draw, I am getting pinged like fucking mad uh, in Discord, and it is because somebody's opened up a Pongya room with a rainbow magic hat, which is an, an item in the game. AFC Blackpool Reserve, Shevington, um, Higgins in the 15th for Shevington, but Owen for AFC Blackpool Reserves leveled it. Kinsella in the 78th put them ahead. But Higgins, four minutes later in the 82nd, leveled it for Shevington. They split the points. It's a big one for AFC Blackpool Reserves because it pulls them out of the drop and puts Litham Town in literally on goal scored. That is it. Uh, I'm pretty sure by goal scored. Um, yes, by goal scored. Um and then Stockport Georgians way in the 71st. And again, an added time at the end of the second half has given Stockport Georgian reserves their second win of the season over Freckleton, who now are bottom. And Stockport Georgians reserves, that win also pulls them out of the drop by two points. So that's how the league is shaping up. We are moving on to five days to go until the... Uh, fixture i do want to put real quick some community outreach and some team bonding on this guy <clears throat> but that should tick over and we'll be five we'll be five days to go so uh, big match versus shevington we can't drop points man we can't drop points so but we'll see on the schedule um, tomorrow we're probably going back to action timing in and then we'll play Pung Ya after and then we'll be back right now on the schedule I actually have Unreal Tournament for Saturday and I don't think um, I made an error because I have the Unreal Tournament Assault Cup on Saturday thinking that this weekend was the start of the cup this weekend is not the start of the cup this weekend is the end of the registration period for the cup 
So we're not actually playing the cup this weekend. And I, it's just something that was lost in translation because the tournament organizer, he speaks Russian as his main language and then English is his second language. So it's just something that got tr lost in translation between me and the tournament organizer. And we we talked about it earlier in the week and I was like, okay, I'm sorry, I, we just misunderstood because the whole conversation up until then was, was on text. So he was like, no, 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 we're not playing this week. But the registration closes on the 3rd. So Unreal Tournament is actually coming off the schedule for this weekend. Um, and we're going to be into, uh, uh, yes. <coughs> uh, remind me in a month, please, for all of these. Uh, you want everybody to fucking dive into Tackless Paul? We're not doing it. So, um, what will replace Unreal Tournament this weekend, by the way? Football Manager. So, I am fixing to run through most of the rest of the season this weekend. So, Saturday, Sunday, I'm, I'm needed a little bit around the house. I have, I have one or two small projects to do. Um, mainly the carpets. We're going to shampoo the carpets again. Um, uh, and then we are going to, um, uh, what are we doing Sunday? <clears throat> oh, I'm cleaning. We're, we're doing, we're rearranging the furniture in the parlor, but other than that, psh, easy. And we'll be on Saturday and Sunday and for football manager. So I think most of the season we're going to fix through. We're going to play a little bit. It's not going to be a full football manager stream, though. We'll play Pangya as well, probably, uh, on stream. Uh, so look forward to that. Um, let's do Leagues in Focus once again. It's time for Leagues in Focus. So the tree, we saw what happened in the first two rounds. This time, Columbus has beat NYCFC in the conference semifinal. 3-1, to one. Montreal downs the Chicago Fire on pens. After a 2-2 draw. So Columbus Crew, Montreal Impact for the Eastern Conference Final. In the West, the LA Galaxy downed the scum 2-1. to one, And Austin FC have beaten Seattle 2-0. So LA Galaxy and Austin FC are fighting for the Western Conference title. Both NYCFC and LAFC lost. There is actually a footballing god. Um... <clears throat> and he loves us. Uh, Premier League, Villa lead the league by two points uh, over City. Arsenal are third, Forest fourth, Man United are fifth, Liverpool sixth, Spurs now seventh, Chelsea up to eighth, West Ham with a loss drops to ninth. But I do want to point one thing out, and that is look at how insanely tight this table is. Forest of 21, Newcastle of 17, which means Four points are separating fourth through tenth. That's insanely tight, including five clubs on 19 points right now, um, which is just pure madness. But yeah, Newcastle are um, tenth. I oh, let Limo. I intend Limo. to live by my own code 57. now. Hello, Limo. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in. Hey, hey. Hey, Raid. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Um, for those that don't know, allow me to introduce myself. I am Benakage, and this is CLGFC. Um, for those that don't know, uh, CLGFC is based off of CounterLogic Gaming, which was an old esports org that died. Um, they existed from 2009 to 2023. And all of our squad members in the starting 11 have some relation to that old esports org. Whether it was myself, Parks, or Snicky, who were all former commentators, Sheamus, who's a former fan, Jack Lemon, who was uh, their Discord moderator, Frack, who was a friend of one of the former players on the side. Um, they all have relation to CounterLogic Gaming. Of some point and that's the save it is a bottom to top save using Dan FM databases England level 20 database save 
Um, we started in level 20. We're in season seven now. And we are in level 14. And we just got pipped off the top of the table. Um, we drew nil-nil. And Fleetwood beat East Manchester. So they went top by two points. We're about to play Shevington four days away. But that's me. And that's the save. Uh, so, Limo, how are you doing? How was your stream? Were you playing football manager? I probably could take a, a, a bit of a peek, right? But um, let me get to my actual Twitch page to see that. But I take it you were playing football manager. Yeah, all good, sir. Nice. What is your save? Yeah, you were playing FM. What was your... what? Are you doing an Aussie A-League network save? That's... That's fucking awesome. That's awesome. And yes, I was. I started a network tonight. 12 people in... 12 people in Aussie network. That's like... um, It's tough, man. Yeah, man. I Listen. I'm okay at football manager... The moment you stick me in PvP or like a network save or whatever, again, I am ass, man. I am absolute ass. Um, <clears throat> that it reminds me a lot of um, NACL. So NACL, I don't know if you know or not, right? I love PvP, but this is a different level. Yeah, man, it's it's the it's the fact that every manager in the league practically is. Um, another player right like i i've seen network saves where there's like four or five of you in the same league and you're like okay i drop points to this guy but then i'm playing the cpu for the next four games so i know i can pick up my points there you know what i mean but yeah four seasons starting with everton at the moment nice nice are you an everton supporter in real life so um Okay, so I'm I am okay. I I respect it because you're not a big six supporter, so don't listen to anyone else. <laughs> nice, they lie. <laughs> nice. I am a um, West Ham United supporter, and I also support uh, the Philadelphia Union, which is um, my local club. The Philadelphia Union are my club most local to me. And I have been a season ticket member there for nine seasons. Next season will be my 10th season there um, as a season ticket member. And um, the one thing I like about the Philly Union is that they're exactly like West Ham. They have a ton of potential, but they always find a way to be shit. And that that's pretty much... And Philly's a blue-collar blue town. And... Um, West Ham's a you know a blue collar club. So you have season tickets yourself at at which club? At the Union? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. So. <clears throat> oh no, you mean at Everton? You mean why did I think you would? You you mean at, at Everton? Yeah. Why the fuck? Why? No, no, no. That's my bad. I'm like, why did I just? I put two and two together and then took two out and still had four. I don't know what, you know what I mean? Like, I was all over the place. But anyway, um, okay, that makes sense. So, how do you feel about the new stadium? Do you feel about, like, I don't know why you guys are leaving Goodison. You know what I mean? I mean, I know it's, Goodison's a bit aged. Don't get me wrong. But. Uh, it doesn't look it doesn't look like it's really built for the modern fan at Goodison, but you can't wait for the new stadium. It's the complete opposite of us West Ham fans. <laughs> we didn't want to leave the boiling. And I kind of do miss the boiling only because it was an amazing state. Upton Park was a fucking incredible stadium, but. I also can't be unhappy at the Olympic Stadium. Like, Goodis isn't old now, but would have loved to them to find a way. There's a school and a church stopping us. Okay. Yeah, I've been to Upton Park. Yeah, it's it's an it's an amazing place, isn't it? But it, at the same time, like, 
I'm I like <laughs> I I great atmosphere. Yeah, I can't be upset at the Olympic Stadium only because just it's a modern stadium. It's a big modern stadium that fits 20,000 more, but the the atmosphere is the biggest problem only because you're so far removed from the pitch, right? So um, we're eight to fifteen favorites. Shevington's five to one. The draw is three to one, and we are moving on. I apologize that it's taking a while to get our database is huge, by the way. Um, so just just for people to, at first though, Olympic Stadium seemed dead atmosphere-wise. Not sure if it's improved. It it has a little bit. It's come and go a little bit. Um, I think the fans have kind of found how to make it their own a little more. You know what I mean? Uh, since they've been in it for a while now. I'm going to pause the music. I do want to say real quick, um, our database size is pretty big right now. 286,000 players. Um, we do have four more or three more leagues coming off. But, um, you know, it just it's a big database. So it's just a fucking big database. So um, if you're wondering why is it take 20 minutes to get through a week, that's why. We're going to kick the press conference off with the first question from Keenan Blake at Sporting Life. Uh, uh, I'm always confident. We've looked good in training. We know what we can do. Um, uh, against all men. We've gone away and licked our wounds, and now time the backs bounce with a much better performance. We actually performed well. We just couldn't fucking finish a ball to save our life. Um, <clears throat> it'd be a statement of our intent, that's for sure. Right. I best get say, Yeah, it's two thirty. Yeah, you guys are four hours ahead. So thank you for the raid, Limo. Uh, I'm gonna give you a shout out for those that haven't uh, uh, followed Limo. I'm definitely going to follow Limo. In fact, I'm going to go, and I'm going to click that follow button right now. So, there you go. But get, definitely check out Limo. I'm going to check out that A-League save, because I used to report on the A-League for a social media site way back in the day. I had to report on J-League, A-League, La Liga, Bundesliga, MLS, and the Premier League. So, I would always start my, my days watching A-League, and then going to bed and waking up four hours later and watching J-League. So... Uh, I might need your brains. Oh, mate, this was like, this was like 20, 2011. I think it's gone by now. I haven't watched A League since. But anyway, uh, don't let me hold you. You get a wonderful night, uh, sleep, and take care of yourself, Limo. I'll uh, I'll catch you on your next stream probably. So, uh, thank you again for the raid. Um, we that is auto save. Take care, buddy. You too. Uh, that is auto save kicking in. And uh, which means we'll tick over to uh, match day, finally. So here we go. Shevington in sixth. We are miserable. <laughs> but uh, yeah, listen, listen, certainly this is the one we're going to improve. We're going to... Um, uh, get back on the in the driver's seat right we haven't gotten we barely gotten any help from the league that's the thing that kills me it's not the fact that uh we aren't top it's just the fact that like we have only slipped up essentially twice and fleetwood hescath are right there like i think they've only lost they've only lost i think they they are probably what eight one and oh like they're eight oh and one and that loss was the old mancunians who we just drew and they like it just kills me that they're so good <laughs> they're so good uh monthly finance update so we lost 132 thousand pounds but we still have one point just under 1.7 in the bank so finances are doing fine Lytham Town, Stockport, Georgians Reserves is the marquee matchup, and that is a big relegation scrap. But it's second versus sixth here. It's quite a it's 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 a match we just got to make. We have to really lock it down. <clears throat> we don't have another option. 
Um, but let's see how we fare. Uh, let me prep the walkout music and everything else we've got, right? Uh, important dates to remember. Tactics. McKendy's hurt? McKendy. McKendy's hurt? What has he got? Oh, he's got a tight calf. Do I... I mean, Chris Foster. But then who's back up? Joe Jones can go top. So can Wellman. I could bring Foster on. We're, we're going to bring in Foster. Um, so Chris Foster will be named to the bench because uh, McKendy's got a tight calf. And if I need McKenty to play up top and run over the top, he's not going to be—he's not going to have the pace to do so with a with a tight calf. So, um, Chris Foster is decent; like he's not a bad replacement for McKenty. He just doesn't play up top, but Wellman does, and he's particularly pretty good up top. And then also Joe Jones plays anywhere across the top four positions we have across the attacking midfield line, all left, center, right, and he plays. Uh, at the 11 so <clears throat> i'm okay with uh maybe instead of mukendi being the target 11 for the sub jones became, can become that and then if i need to replace spaps or shemus on the wings i can roll with foster because um oh counter fc under 18s lose but graham and presses who do we lose to we lost to hide under 18s um so Jamie Graham in the third put us ahead, but Diego Rosmus in the 36 leveled it. We went 1-1 in at the break. Jamie Graham scored it two minutes after the break in the 47th to put us back ahead, but James Saleh in the uh, 54th leveled it. Tibor Kohler in the 69th put him ahead. Nicky Ordish put it away in added time at the end of the second half. So 4-2 we lose. It's our under-18s third loss of the season. It also means that FC Halifax Town under-18s are going back top of the under-18s league by a by two points, I believe that it was. By two points? Was that two points? By a point. Opposition instructions, that's what we're going to do. Team selection. We're going to have a cheeky little save here. And then we're going to get into the game. Ads start. I meant to run the ads. I'm going to run the ads now only because they're going to run in 17 minutes. So I'd rather run them now. And then you guys get the game. Then I have to pause the game. So we'll be back in a few. <clears throat> uh, I just want to make sure they're actually going to like run. There we go. <clears throat> ads are in pro. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. No, no, no. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> it's our final game of the night, too. They have made no changes, not a single change. We have only swapped out our bench as well. So, um, let's see what we got here. Uh, I don't want to say we're on a good run. I'm, I'm kind of wants to be like, we need to bounce back. This is amounts we should be winning. <laughs> That didn't motivate anybody. That was like the worst option, even though that was the recommended option. That was, um, anyway. Uh, let me get actually over to the right tab. Ads ended 2 minute 20. We'll, uh, <clears throat> we're going to give it about 30 seconds, and then we'll, well, maybe 45 seconds, and then we'll run it out, because it is going to be like a minute and a half of the pregame stuff, right? So it's actually like 30 seconds, so I should let it go another minute, and I will. We're going to just wait out the ads, and then uh, we'll go from there. <clears throat> so, for those on YouTube, uh, this is 126, and this is probably the biggest must-win game. This is as tight a must-win game as Season 1 was when we played... Earlham Steel Rangers reserves and basically had we beat them we would have won the title it was like match 19 of 20 in the season and that was that was the situation we were in we were in a situation where um, 
we were one point clear of Earlham Steel Rangers reserves in the penultimate game, and we had to play them head to head. And it was one of those things where if we could win the game, we could win the league. And they had beat us in the first fixture, and um, we wound up beating them and winning the title uh, by going four clear with the game to play. This is almost on par with that. If we win and Fleetwood, whatever Fleetwood does, doesn't matter what Fleetwood does. If we win, Fleetwood Hesketh, the next game, that that's the level it's going to be. It's going to be, it's going to be like a, um, pretty much a title decider. Um, there is still the only difference is the Earlham Still Rangers reserve game. There was one game left to play at the end uh, after that game, it, and it became a dead rubber because we were four points clear. Uh, the Fleetwood Hesketh match, there will still be seven games left to play afterwards. So so it won't be a foregone conclusion by any stretch of the imagination. Ads have got 15 seconds. We're going to go. Many men wish death upon me. They're playing the 4-4-2. I'm destined to be. Second versus sixth. Many, 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 many men wish death upon me. Oh, I don't cry no more. Don't look to the sky no more. All right. We are underway here with what is the final match of the night and a massive one. Shevington in sixth. Really, they're not in the relegation scrap, and they're nowhere near the title fight. They are very much the mid-table side. And us, who are two points off the top, we need help. And we need to win here today. We are in the red with the black. They are in the blue. Balls over the top, and Omolokan will come down with it. Horvath, here's Barry. He's going to move it to Collins. Collins can't get that. Can't be cut out. Yates had to come all the way forward for it. Over to Martin. Denny Martin. Higgins. Beck. Yates, back to Beck, who's gone for goal, and that is, Jesus Christ, that was close, from being fucking 30 yards out, 35 yards out, <clears throat> all right, eighth minute, Horvat, not this shit again, where we're going to dominate possession, but they're going to get all the fucking highlights, right, um, anyway, Brat's got that, so it might not be their highlight, let's, let's be a little bit more positive here, Benny, uh, Brat, uh, He's going to go long. Even though he's told to distribute to the center backs, and he very much could have there, but he decided not to. He decided to go long. We lost possession of the ball. Why are we so out of shape in possession? Like, God, or, you know. Here's Barry. Collins. Collins. Yates. Has, was he not offsides? It's a goal kick, thankfully, but I would have thought he was off sides, and that has got me worried. They have another fucking island. Beck. That's a corner. <clears throat> ah! This game's driving me nuts. That's a corner. That's another corner. Collins whips it in. Headed away. Higgins comes down. Oh, blunt. I just picked his pocket. Booted it clear. Nobody's going to get to that. Please let it be the end of the highlight. It's not. Here's Martin coming back with it for Beck. Beck on the left-hand side. Beck looking for the cross. He's not being closed down. He does get the cross in. Back poach. Yates is there. What a save from Brat. Holy smokes. That's, a, that's an awesome save from Brat. <laughs> Here's Collins with the corner to Brat's left-hand post. That's going to be whipped in. Brat should come for that. Brat's got it. <clears throat> Your center back's right here, bud. Right here. 
right here. You got another. You got a white. You got another one right there. And you go long again. And we don't win the header again. What is going on? They're coming back at us again. Here's back again. That's another corner. There <sighs> we go. Whipped in and up. And that is a free kick. Omolokan has handled the ball. So... That didn't even count as a shot. This game is bugged. That didn't get. That didn't count as. A, oh no, they have. We literally don't have a shot. They have four. Offsides. Orvath. Or Orvath is offsides. Orvath again. Why? What is going on? Back. Oh my God! What a save, brought. Holy shit. <clears throat> we don't... They have 55% of the... 53% of the possession. I thought it was us. It's them. We have been dominating games all season. And we've come into this one. And we've got fucking nothing through 20 minutes. Oh my god. That was... He was primed for a tackle. Oh, you were very lucky, Snicky, that you did... The, the ref didn't blow the whistle on that. How have they got highlight after highlight? What a save, Brot. What a save. Here we go. Frack. Spaps. Frack. Cookies. Spaps. Good ball movement. Fucking terrible touch from Spaps, though. We got away for the corner. That should have been a cross, honestly. That should have, that should have been a cross. I mean, you find yourself there with that much space. And then he's decided to take a monster touch. Here's Sheamus. Whips the cross and back post. It's headed up. It can't be headed down. It's booted clear. Jack is going to give it back to Sheamus. He's well on side. Sheamus. Spaps. Spaps has got his back towards, towards goal. Frack. Twinkle. Twinkle. Cookies. Cookies. Twinkle. Shoots. Good save by Lynchy. Very good save. I mean, it's kind of was hit right at him. <laughs> but... Here's Sheamus. <clears throat> Whips this ball in. Sticky! And they can't get over top of the ball. Man, they had all the momentum. That's what kills me, man. Here's Horvath again. Yates. Horvath. Omolokan. It's meant for Yates over the top. That should be Bratz. Brad, I don't know why you hit that first time, man. Shima still comes down with it. Snicky. Snicky. Go here. Go here. Cookies, you got to be quicker with the ball, man. <laughs> Spaps, Twinkle. Twinkle going for Shima on the switch. That's a good ball. Shima's there's a pocket of space. Shima's there's... Connie Coon back towards goal. Connie Coon has put it in. Holy crap. I thought we were going to get absolutely fucking smoked based on those 20 minutes. I'm like, we, we don't have a shot on goal. We, we don't we don't have 50% possession. We don't have anything. And it's been turned around. It's a good turn and shoot from a Connie Coon to be fair to him. It's a very good turn and shoot. <laughs> if only we were clinical in front of goal in the last game, we would be, we would be, oh man. Oh God, yeah. Martin's going to have it. <clears throat> I mean, we had so many chances in the last game too. And I even told the guys at halftime, like, you need to finish in front of goal. You need to find better finishing in front of goal. And then they still didn't. And we drew nil-nil. Here's Sheamus. From Cookies. Sheamus. Good switch for Spaps. Spaps, first time. Sticky might be off sides. 
Finley's headed it away. Parks comes down with it. Here's Twinkle. She is Twinkle turns and shoots, and that is going to trickle safely wide. Sheamus has been booked, so now we're going to tell him, A, ease off tackles. <coughs> I, I would have thought that that was a foul. Here's Beck. First cross, Yates. Jack heads it out corner. But we had the notification come up that we're now in second in the league again. So I think Fleetwood has kept have taken the lead in their game too. <clears throat> we get no help from the league. No fucking help. Collins whips this in. That's headed away. It's going to be another corner. Here's Horvath. Out for Barry. Barry for Beck. Beck. And that's over. I mean, we have got to play better than allow shots like that. They have 0.94 XG. Beck. This is whipped in. Headed away. Collins. That is way over. And that is half time. Okay. We're doing well, but we can find another gear. That is 100% true. Um, we are going to tell Horvath. Where is he? He's going to be tightly marked when he's in the box. We're back underway with the second half. And a big second half. <clears throat> Yates. Higgins, I think, was off sides. Yates has headed it. And Higgins was. Flag's going up. Parks. Akunikun. Parks. Whip it in, Parks. Find Sheamus. Sheamus. Almost too heavy a touch. Twinkle. Twinkle going for it. Twinkle going for goal, and he's, he's not anywhere close. Orvis. Collins. <clears throat> Barry. Back. Oh, that's, that's off Jack, I think, for a corner. Yep, Fleetwood Hesketh have doubled their lead now against Norcross. So we're not getting any help from Norcross. That is another corner taken out. Collins, it's back to him. I thought Collins potentially offsides. There's a header. Brott parries it away. Another big save from Brott. Brottwall is back. Beck whips it in. Collins far post, but Barks wins a crucial header, and it will be a corner. We got to focus here. We got to focus here. I think we got to focus here. <laughs> Collins, Cookies heads that away. <clears throat> Back to Collins. And Parks heads that away. Finley. We These guys were not this tough when we played them last time. I, what the hell happened? Finley. Cross comes in. It's cut out. And it will be a throw. <laughs> Here's Martin. Beck. Back to Martin. Brot should have that. Brot has claimed it. My ass is sweating, man. I haven't sweated this much since I played the Olympic final on FM16, which was about three weeks ago. Uh, cookies. Myself. Spaps. Snicky. Oh, man, that was a good switch. Sniggy had their back turned to him, but, you know, that was a good switch. Frack on the wing. Frack taking it out wide. Gives it to Cookies. Cookies loses fucking possession of the ball. You guys have got to 
Oh, Jesus. Offsides. Caught, caught Higgins in the offsides trap. Now, who I think Spaps might be priority number one to replace. Um, here's back to Sheamus. He's on sides. Back. Connie Coon. Is that not a pen? Sheamus has picked it up. Twinkle. Blast it. Oh, it's off the top of the net. <clears throat> good good aerial win, Snicky. Akuni Kun has it. Goes for Spaps on the right hand side. Spaps cuts back myself. It went back. It's gone back to Frack. Frack gets the cross in. Akuni Kun gets the header, but he's he's underneath it. It's gonna go over the bar. Parks. Sheamus. Back to Park. Whip it in, Parks. You got a free cross, man. He whips it in. Cookies back post. Finley comes up with it. Spraps! And Lynchy <coughs> will glove it. Here's the cross coming in. Collins could be there. Parks with a diving header. Horvath is there. Horvath and Brott has somehow made another huge save. And he's going down to 6.9 off the back of it. I have no clue why. Um, Snicky heads it away. I think Spaps is going to be the first replacement. I think uh, Joe Jones for Spaps. Here's Collins. Brat has got that the whole way. No pressure. Just distribute the ball. Jack is here. He's in plenty of space. Distribute the ball to him. You don't need to go long. We can build from the back like we want to. You just have to find a better pass. Twinkle. It's going to go here. <coughs> it needs to go back to Jack now. Jack. I mean, Sheamus is here finding... Sheamus and, and uh, Parks are finding space on the wing. Parks is willing to do the overlap, so you just have to find the space. Parks, good ball. Parks cuts inside. Sheamus there. Sheamus. Sheamus goes for goal and Lynch. He's made the save. Back post. It's whipped in. Everybody in center. Finley can't get. Finley gets to it. Spaps can't. It's another corner. And Joe Jones will be coming on for Spaps here for this corner. Here's Sheamus. Whips it in. Omaroken heads it away. Twinkle will run it down. Sheamus on the left. Here's Sheamus. Twinkle. Snicky. Back for Sheamus. Right here. In space. Right here. Right here. Oh, he's found Jones. That's a really good ball. The cross! Oh, Omolokan's cut it out. <sighs> Fleet would have taken a 3-0 lead. Fuck, we get absolutely no help. Sheamus... Whips it in, add it up, add it away. Akonigun's going to come down with it. Now we're we're back in the groove of things. Now we're kind of we're finding possession. We're really patient on the attack. <clears throat> this is more of our style here in the second half. Twinkle, Parks, wait for the run. Continue. Should have sent him. He, he has now. I don't know if he stayed on though. No, offsides. He should have sent the ball sooner. Everybody knew what was happening, and he had the space to do it, and he's not sent the ball. He's off tackles, please, Jack. Here's Collins. Collins. Somebody close him down. Jesus, mother of God. Uh, Harry Norris is going to come on for Jack because Jack's not having a great game. Who the fuck just got booked? Francis, the free kick, and a Coney Coon can't put it on net. Jones, Snicky. Come on, Snicky. Come on, Snicky. Jones has still got it, though. Myself, Frack. Somebody's got to get wide to help Frack. Frack goes for the cross. Sheamus could be there. Back post. Horvath puts it out for a corner.
One nil. Frank to take it. I don't know why you two are pissed. Frank whips this in. Joe Jones is there, and he's just can't get over top of the ball. Joe Jones is one of the best headers that have of the ball that we have on the team. I mean, he made that run perfectly. He just could not get over top of the ball enough. Here's Sheamus. Sheamus. Sheamus going for it. Myself. Out wide here. Cookies. Cookies goes. That's a deflection. And that is going to be a corner in the four, in I mean, late in the game. <clears throat> Frank to take I'm thinking about replacing Snicky here. Oh, that's whipped in. And that is not going to fall our way. Sam Wellman's coming on at striker because McKendy's hurt. Sam Wellman is coming. Twinkles fouled him. They've made the triple change. I it's been a long time since I put Wellman up top. A long time since I put Wellman up. He's almost always our midfield or defensive midfield sub. Sometimes, occasionally, he's our defensive center sub. That's a good ball over the top. Akuni can check this run too. That's good. She misses, got it. Parks. Free reign to whip this in if he wants to. Oh, good ball. Come on, cookies. Cookies. Off the bar. Off the bar. And that's a corner. I, how we didn't score that, I have no clue. It should have been 2 0. Here's Frack. Whips it in. Frack comes down with it. it could, ah, fucking, what an interception. You guys have got to track back now. Oh, Jesus. You just let Phillips tri tri dribble right around you. Higgins on the far side. Somebody close him down. I've come across. He's blasted. It's wide. <clears throat> See, now you can go. You can go here. You can go here. You can go here. I don't know why you tucked in. There's no reason to tuck in. You've got you've got Wellman center. You know. That shouldn't have gone to Norris, and that's gone carelessly over the top. Twinkles thankfully cut that out. Jones. Ball over the top, Jones? No. The run was being made. Oh, really? Did he stay on is the question. Is he, If he has, this could be potential. <laughs> the whistle's not gone. Back for Twinkle. Twinkle. Back for, it should have gone maybe somewhere else. But some, the fucking, what a terrible pass. Frack. Jones got to get wider, man. Offsides. All of that build-up play ruined by an offsides. And the ball, the ball, the ball had no reason to come that far back on a break like that. Good job, Norris. Wellman's got it up top. Wellman, I don't know why he's gone for goal. But he has. And Lynch, he's just going to glove it. He's no Wayne Rooney. <clears throat> Wellman's pushed off the ball. Whittle has it. Higgins. Beck. Beck. Higgins. It's good cut out, Twinkle. Finds Jones on the far side. Jones just heads it, so it's coming right back the other way. Here's Horvath. Whips this ball in. That was Bratz. I've headed it wide. It will be a corner. I really should have been Brats to take, but he's not He's not come for it. Here we go. Corner late. Whipped in. Finley. Brats got it. Here's a Kony Kun free kick off the wall. And another corner. I am out of subs. Here's Sheamus. Sheamus whips it in. Joe Jones! Joe Jones has done it! Just a second goal of the season, but he's actually sealed this for us. 
Surely now, surely now, Joe Jones delivers. And we are 2-0 up on Shevington. This is a tight fucking match, man. They had 1.73 XG. They've had a lot of chances. I mean, that we Brock got peppered in the first half, and he's made some fucking unreal saves. There we go. Joe Jones has done it. I mean, we can't be giving the ball away like that now. No, 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 no. We still have a few more minutes to see this out. Norris. Uh, I mean, he's won the header to nobody, unfortunately. Team's too slow. Phillips turns on it. Phillips shoots and fires. That's off the bar. Four minutes of injury time. Here's Parks. Whips it in. Joe Jones. Uh, he's, he's got bumped. He got bumped when he headed it. He was there for it uncontested, and then he got bumped in that set. But this, they've got 20 seconds, and we got a two-goal lead. This one's over the top. Frack's going to knock it down. Brat will have it. Frack. Forward. Oh, come on now, Frack. Why have you given the ball away there? Miley, last chance saloon for Shevington. It's not going to be given. 2-0, the final, a Corny Coon in the 31st, Jones in the 88th, and at least we end on a win. They had a fucking shit ton of half chances, though. Holy shit. Uh, but... So... But we end the night on a winning note. I don't think we got any help because I thought Fleetwood Hesketh were freaking, what, 3 0 up? So, and they're the team we're chasing, so. That's how it finished. McKnight in the 34th, Aiken in the uh, uh, 48th, and Wood in the 62nd. They maintain their two point lead at the top. AFC Blackpool Reserves and Freck visiting Freckleton. Uh, Hooper in the 28th before Backor in the 51st leveled it for Freckleton. Healy put the AFC Blackpool Reserves back ahead in the 58th from the spot before Kinsella added to it 11 minutes later in the 69th. Mitchell in the 82nd pulled one back for Freckleton, but they could not find the equalizer. The win puts AFC Blackpool Reserves on nine points now and drags them out of the drop zone as well. As... Uh, they go a point clear of the drop. Litham Town with a huge win. It was Beckford in the 34th, Smith in the 42nd, and Smith, uh, sorry, Lewis Smith in the 42nd, Billy Smith in the 44th, Litham Town 3 0 up at the break. Pilkington pulled one back for Stockport Georgians reserves in the 79th, but that was all they could muster. It means that Litham Town also drag themselves away from the drop this time. Stockport Georgians reserves will drop into uh, the drop zone on eight points. Freckleton four adrift now, unfortunately, with eight to play. Uh, Old Mancunians eats Manchester. It was in, 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 in Condi, sorry, in Condi in the um, 39th minute for East Manchester to put give them the lead, winning them in the 49th, though. Uh, leveled it for Old Mancunians. Reed in the 65th put them ahead and doubled their advantage in the 72nd. Uh, Lujan in the uh, added time at the end of the second half pulled a second one back for East Manchester, but they could not find the equalizer. They just ran out of time. Old Mancunians will open up a four-point gap between them and East Manchester in third. There's still seven back of us, though. Uh, but those are the results around the ground. We're in a dogfight, and this is a big one. This is the big one coming up next. 
first versus second. If we lose this game, Fleetwood will go five clear with seven to play. And that might be catchable. That might not be catchable. We don't know. We have to make sure we don't drop any more points if we if that were to happen. And uh, we would be chasing down five points. But if we win the game, we're going to leapfrog them by a point. Post-match press conference about to start. Let's kick it off with the first question from Martin Brown at Sporting Life. Uh, I don't, wouldn't say we were excellent. <clears throat> But I'm going to anyway. Uh, how long is it? Uh, confidence is high. Uh, I don't think so. I know my players. They're dedicated, focused, and want to stay consistently successful. <coughs> You're unbeaten away. Run down to 20 matches. I'm delighted. Uh, ooh, struggles this season. Um, uh, I have no doubt so put this behind them and show who they really are before much longer. Cool. Um, that is that uh why do i have a fucking c plus how have i gone to a c plus from a b plus i understand the deal the deal to sean warner i i get that but he, he deserves his first team football. So. I don't understand. This fucking thing is. Not sure why the player was sold. Man, just to give him first team football. If he wasn't a required standard. Yeah, okay. I'm not playing counterattacking build up football. I don't understand what everyone's. I just don't understand how that's happened. Um, but okay. Sure. Uh, I'm pretty fucking tightly knit into this club now, though. My manager is uh, considered a legend of the club. So uh, I don't think we're going anywhere anytime soon. So um, anyway. Uh, let's save the game. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna process once just to to get to that news story. There's our previous meetings. One win, one draw. Cheers for the stream, Benny. As always, uh, I appreciate it, Thomas. Uh, for those on, I actually forgot to do one fucking thing real quick, and I hope that processing doesn't finish before uh, I do. Um, and that is go here. Uh, There. I got it in. Uh, we're going to process once, and then we're going to save the game, and then we're going to get out of here. So, schedule tomorrow. Timonen. Pang Ya. It might be a full Timonen stream, believe it or not. Uh, but if we run out of energy to complete missions in Timonen, we'll swap over to Pang Ya. Um, Saturday. Right now on the schedule, and my schedule is on Twitch, so you can look it up. Uh, you can look my schedule up on Twitch. But Saturday and Sunday will be changing. They will be moving to probably Football Manager streams, and we'll start there, and then we'll probably hop over to Pung Ya um, afterwards. Timing it might be involved as well on that one. Um, and then Monday off, Monday no streams, um, and then we're back with with Pung Ya and Timing in for much of next week. Um, and then uh, the ninth, 10th right now is slated for football manager. But again, that Unreal Tournament that I'm uh, the actual Salt Cup that I'm going to be commentating an Unreal Tournament is probably starting that weekend. So uh, the schedule won't come out until after the third. So we're going to look at the schedule, see who's playing when and go from there. So. Definitely keep an eye on the schedule on Twitch because I will keep it as up to date as possible and we'll go from there. Uh, but uh, for those of you on YouTube, this was CLGFC episode 126. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.